Yeah, it is. That is cool. That thing is one of those six pounders or more. It's gonna jump. Oh, that's my. the one we were looking for. And we got it. Oh. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. a that's a big one. Yeah, oh yeah. Woohoo! The net? Mm, nah. <laughs> <laughs> don't need the net Of course, I catch the two pounder. <laughs> Here, Dad, take him off for me. <laughs> He's fat. That's a better. That's a good fish too. I mean, we're on the right position, but needs to be a little farther out. What have you been casting at? That like hut on the bank, or? Like straight to the road, I think it would be. Yeah, from where you're at, between the road and the point. I was kind of aiming for that point when we was there, but when we was over there further, I was aiming it for that stick. Okay. And they're all they're all dirty as crap. And Trump's got all kinds Ooh, of that's shit on fish. It. That's a good fish. Yeah, it is. I think. That's a good fish. I think it's gonna be one of those six pounders or more. It's gonna Maybe jump. Hey. Oh, that's my. the one we were looking get for. Dad, get my big camera. Get it to the net. Okay. Just don't let it get under the boat because it's not trying to go to the engine. Get him to the net. Make sure you push the on button all the way forward. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And we got it. Oh. We got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one. Woo! If he's not eight, he's over seven. He's heavy, huh? Oh, yeah. I hope. I don't know where I mean, as soon as you set the hook on that fish, I knew he was big. You had it hooked good. You had it. Uh, it's oh. not on yet. He, he doesn't have the big belly. No, like that's going to hurt him. He's got a big back. Seven plus. Come on, baby. Seven even. All right. That's <laughs> the best. Seven even. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. You get your pictures. Yeah. It doesn't have a belly, but he's got a big back. It'd probably be close to eight if it had a belly. Oh, he would be over eight with a belly. Seven even. Like 7.01, so seven even exactly. That is awesome. Wow. He's so pretty. All right. Seven pounder. 
Going back. It's ready. Oh. Now touch it on the side with your hand. Right, right here? Yeah, touch it. There you go. Seven even. New personal best. That's awesome. <laughs> it was bound to happen here. I told you, as soon as you set the hook and that fish, it was big. Good job. <gasps> Alright guys, so you obviously just watched me catch my personal best fish, 7 pounds, 7.02 I think it was, so that's like 7 pounds 1 ounce or something like that, 7 even, um, right at 7 pounds, which is pretty sweet. You know, my previous personal best was 6.5 pounds, so to be able to beat it by about a half a pound is pretty awesome. Obviously I was head hunting for that 8 plus pound bite, we never got it. Um, but that just gives us a reason to go back next January, which um, I think we plan on doing. So that's going to be pretty sweet. Now, obviously, guys, the videos are not over yet. We still have the afternoon of uh, day three. And then I have, um, I'm going to do a compilation of the five biggest fish from out the whole trip. Um, and then we're going to do another recap video on talk about how I caught the fish in every single video um, and all the baits that were productive down there. Um, so if you guys are going down there, then you can watch that video and know what you need to take um, because it is hard to know exactly what you need to take because um, you obviously want to bring a little bit of everything, but uh, you can't bring too much because obviously you're flying. So, but like I said today, guys, I want to talk about how I caught my personal best. Um, and we're just going to start off right away with the rod and reel combo I used. Um, this is a PAL Endurance 734C. Um, this is a 7 foot 3 heavy fast rod. This is my first time ever putting my hands or ever using a PAL um, rod and I absolutely have fell in love with this thing and I'm going to be probably getting quite a few more. This rod retails for like 150 and I got it um, during the holiday sale for like 99 bucks. Um, and it, it's insane. So if you can catch it during a sale for 99 bucks, you're gonna be blown away. As far as the reel goes, guys, this is a Daiwa Tatula 100. This is a seven one-to-one -one gear ratio reel. Um, so pretty, pretty, it's decently fast, but kind of middle of the road now. You know, we have the 10, 10 to ones, um, and obviously, you know, you're, you crank with the five to ones, but this is a seven, seven one-to-one -one gear ratio, which is perfect. So guys, I had this Daiwa Tatula spooled up here with um, 20 pound Seaguar Red Label. Um, I feel like a lot of people sleep on the Red Label. It's, you know, Seaguar's cheaper line, um, but I've had no issues with Seaguar um, in the Red Label for that matter. It's an awesome line, perfect if um, you don't want to spend a bunch of money on fluorocarbon, you don't want to buy the Brazex or Tatsu. Um, the Red Label is just as good. I actually like the Red Label better than the Invisex, um, which is the next step up. Um, but everybody knows Seaguar is top of the line. That and Sunline and probably P-Line are the, the most well-known names um, in, the, in the line industry. But no problems with this. Um, and actually, so I buy, I buy the thousand yard spools uh, just because it lasts a long time and I use line a lot. Um, but you can obviously, like here's one, you can obviously pick up a 175 yard spool of the 20 pound or if you buy 15 pound, it comes in 200 yard spools. It really just kind of depends on how much you want to spend. Obviously, if you know you're going to use line, spend a little extra, get the thousand yard spool, it's going to last you longer. Uh, but if you just need to fill up one or two reels, grab a couple of the 175 yard spools and they're going to do you just fine. Um, one thing I will say is I know people a lot of times don't like to buy Seaguar because it is more expensive. But the way I think of it as, um, it's it's like an investment. Your line is your direct connect from you to the, the, to the fish. If you're gonna buy cheaper stuff, buy a cheaper rod or buy a cheaper reel. Don't skimp out on your line. Your line is your direct connect from you to the fish. And you can you, you wanna be able to control as much of the variables as you can. Obviously you can't control the weather, you can't control the, the fish's mood, you can, but you can control the rod you use, the reel you use, and the line you use. So fishing is already tough enough. 
Um, you're, you're trying to catch a wild animal. So my point is get the best stuff that you can afford. But basically what we were using this week is uh, we are Carolina rigging, um, just your simple Carolina rig. Um, you're gonna be using a, a three quarter ounce tungsten weight. It's very important to make sure you use tungsten um, because tungsten is uh, obviously a more denser than lead. So it, you're gonna be able to get a smaller weight. Um, the, the three quarter ounce tungsten is gonna be like, I don't know, probably half the size of a three quarter ounce lead. Um, and it's gonna make more noise down there banging around because it's a denser weight. Um, so this is, I have this rigged up as a half right now. Uh, just because I ran out of three quarter. So you have your uh, three quarter ounce tungsten here. Then real important glass bead. That's going to, uh, when they bang together, it makes obviously a lot more noise. So uh, three, quarter, three quarter ounce tungsten weight, glass bead. Then your just standard swivel. Um, and like I said, 20 pound line to your swivel. And then 20 pound line on your leader here. Um, and we were throwing anywhere from like an 18 to 24, 25 inch leader. I believe this one here is like right at two foot, 24 inches. And then down to a five aught uh, Trocar EWG hook. Very important EWG hook. Carolina Reganine is already hard enough to feel the bite. And with that EWG hook, it's gonna be Texposed because it's gonna sit right on the outside. So you're not gonna have to go through all that plastic. Um, and so they're gonna be able to hook their, their, themselves a whole lot easier. As far as the bait goes, guys, um, really we were throwing just about anything, any kind of big worm or big eight inch Senko or anything, anything really, uh, big lizard. Uh, it really didn't matter. However, what I caught the uh, seven pounder on was just a standard uh, zoom mag trick worm in June bug color. Um, I like to throw these on a 5 8 ounce shaky head a lot. And, and drag them around offshore here in Indiana. Uh, but we, we Carolina rigged it that week. And normally you want to you think a Carolina rig wants a bunch of action and a bunch of people down there who are throwing a Carolina rig or you know, throwing a big brush hog or a big lizard with all this, this kicking arms. And we did do that, but uh, once I mixed it up and put on a trick worm, we got a couple more bites uh, because it, it's real streamlined. And I don't think very many people were doing it. Um, but obviously just standard uh, Texas rigging it. Probably what was the key, and it's a big key down there in Mexico, was the Spike It Dip and Glow um, garlic scented chartreuse. Very important. They literally dip everything in chartreuse dip uh, down there. So we were just dipping about an inch and a half, two inches of the tail in the chartreuse. And that seemed to do the trick. Literally anything I'd put on, he'd be like, make sure you dip that. Make sure you put that in chartreuse. Chartreuse to those legs. I don't know what it is about Mexico, but they literally chartreuse everything. So if you are going to Mexico, make sure you have a couple bottles of this because you're going to use it. So like I said, guys, the El Salto videos aren't over just yet. So make sure you stay tuned. We have some more videos coming. Um, I got my first tournament here in like two or three, three weeks. So be on the lookout for that. Um, we're going to obviously have some practice videos and stuff from that. So like I said, stay tuned for the rest of the El Salto videos and um, hope you guys have enjoyed them so far. It's pretty sweet to be able to catch my personal best down there. Uh, but I'm not satisfied. Seven pounder, I want a bigger one. I'm looking for that eight plus, that nine, that 10 pounder. I want the double digits. So stay tuned and um, we'll have some more videos coming out here. So I wanna thank all of you for watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell right next to it so that uh, you'll get notifications when new videos come out. And um, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Tell all your friends about the channel so we can grow this pretty big. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.